Khloe Kardashian is one proud mom celebrating daughter True's sixth birthday. The mom of two celebrated True's special day by giving her a sweet shootout on social media. On Kardashian's Instagram stories, she shared a number of pictures of her daughter, including some throwback shots and images from a birthday party, and raved about the person she's becoming. It's a strange feeling as your child grows older. You love the amazing little person they are becoming. But at the same time, you miss all the little versions of themselves, Kardashian wrote. The little ones they used to be. Tatum Thompson was born via surrogate on July 28, 2022. In August 2022, a representative for the television personality confirmed to DA parents that she and her ex Thompson had welcomed their son. When a baby isn't named before leaving the hospital in California, they are then just called their mother's last name on paperwork until the child's parents file old fit documents to change it. In May 2023, Kardashian confirmed in the third season premiere of The Kardashians that she was calling her son Tatum. During the episode, the Good American founder explained why she had difficulty settling on a name for her son. At first, I really did not know what I was going to name him, she explained. I wanted to meet him and feel him out a little bit, and so at first, he didn't have a name. Then he's been named, but I've been waiting for the premiere of our show, and I didn't know it was going to be this far out, so now if my daughter outs me, I'm screwed. In July 2023, Kardashian celebrated Tatum's first birthday on her Instagram page. In the post, she referred to the little one as Tatum. Happy birthday, my sweet son. She captioned the post in part, which featured a photo of her holding Tatum on her hip. Kardashian then used his name, which had yet to be legally updated when addressing him in the caption directly. Tatum, you have changed mine and True's lives forever, she added. We both needed you. I knew she would be a fantastic, loving older sister, but I don't think I ever could have imagined the love and bond you guys already have. The Canadian-American basketball player welcomed first child, Oliver Prince, in December 2016 with his previous girlfriend, Jordan Craig. His and Kardashian's daughter, True Thompson, came next and was born in April 2018. Nearly three years later in December 2021, Thompson welcomed Theo Thompson, his third child and second son. At the time of model Marilee Nichols. Today, paternity test results reveal that I fathered a child with Marilee Nichols. He wrote in a post on his Instagram story at the time. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amicably raising our son. Thompson went on to address Kardashian in his statement and apologized. Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you, he wrote. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you may think. True Thompson was born to the reality star and basketball player on April 12, 2018. True is the second child of Tristan Thompson. In 2018, Kardashian announced the name of her daughter with a post shared on her Instagram four days after she gave birth to her. Our little girl, True Thompson, has completely stolen our hearts and we are overwhelmed with love, she captioned the post. Such a blessing to welcome this angel into the family. Mommy and Daddy love you, True. On April 12, Kardashian celebrated True's sixth birthday by giving her a sweet shootout on Instagram. Kardashian shared a photo of her little girl in an all-pink outfit and wrote, You changed my life forever and I love every part of who you are. Your smile, your laugh, the sass you get when you dance, your independence the way you love. Love me. Love Tatum. Love your cousins. Love lovey. Love your daddy. You are love. My love. In another Instagram story, Kardashian raved about her daughter's personality and said she loves the person True is becoming. You are my heartbeat, my happiness, my soul, my truth, my tutor forever. Love mommy X, she wrote. While Kardashian has a big family and is an aunt to 10 children, she feels like more than just an aunt to one in particular. Kardashian said on season three, episode eight of the Kardashians that she feels like a third parent to her six year niece, Dream. I do know how important it is for Dream to have a great maternal influence, whether that be from me or her own mom or whoever. It's important and wherever she gets it from, she gets it from, Kardashian said in the show. Scott Disick also weighed in on Kardashian taking on a mom role in Dream's life, saying, I just can't believe that you're like somewhat of a co-parent to Dream. You're like, more than an aunt. Probably more than an aunt, but just a third parent, Kardashian replied. She elaborated further in her confessional, adding, Dream is one of my babies too, just like all the rest of them, and I absolutely love being a mom to people. I love mothering people, I don't know if they like that or not, but it's so in my blood just to be a mom, I wouldn't have it any other way. She later clarified on her Instagram story in a post published by People that she loves all of her nieces and nephews more than I can express, but she's particularly close with Dream. My brother and I are extremely close. I am with Dream all the time because I'm with my brother all of the time, she wrote on her Instagram story. I love her beyond measure. 
True and Dream are best friends and I feel so incredibly blessed they have this relationship. Though Sheet and Thompson are no longer together, the former couple have shown a deep commitment to being a family for their children. In a June 2023 episode of The Kardashians, Kardashian gave fans some insight into her relationship with the father of her two children. Tristan and I and we always get along great, Kardashian said of her ex. Him and I have a great friendship relationship, we get along fine, and for my kids I will put anything to the side. What's done is done, so what may I still be holding on to something for? I don't need to punish him because I'm not getting back with him. In the same episode, Kardashian shared that to maintain a healthy and platonic relationship with her ex, she has set firm boundaries. Some such boundaries include making sure that he only comes by her place when her children are a part of the equation. These boundaries are so important to put into place with Tristan, because we've done this song and dance a handful of times already. I've gotten back with him after a cheating scandal, so I don't know if Tristan is under the impression, oh wow, ok. Let's just ride this out and eventually, she'll get back with me, Kardashian told her mother Kris Jenner at the time. I get why you would think that. So it's my job to set boundaries that my actions show otherwise.